hello everyone i'm back with another model which is oil and gas excel financial model currently i'm on the uh, table of contents which includes assumptions revenue analysis startup summary income statement balance sheet break even analysis project evaluation dashboard and sensitivity analysis moving forward to the assumptions here i'll uh, pointing out i'll be pointing out uh, one thing which is we have linked all the sheets with relevant sheets here i'll i'll be clicking on assumptions and we have assumptions open so currently we are on the assumptions what does basically uh, assumptions include it includes all the basic information which is required for the business just like uh, investment input loan uh, price assumptions for the products we are offering revenue assumptions uh, uh, reserves production growth annually segmentation and we have the contracts and we have a monthly employment payroll capital expenditure operating expenses and every other little thing which is required for the business moving forward the revenue analysis in revenue analysis we have the production table for the uh, products we are offering oil gas and ngl and uh, we have calculated the uh, we have reserves we have total oil production net reserves and uh, uh in uh, moving forward uh, we have the number of contracts for oil gas and ngl we have taken long term short term and medium term contracts for three of the products we are offering and we have calculated the revenue for a uh, long term short term and medium medium term for oil gas and ngl moving forward to the inventory table and uh, in inventory we have calculated the reserves available uh, opening inventory used inventory produced inventory and closed closing inventory and uh, through closing inventory we have uh, our total uh, in inventory calculated which we have included in the balance sheet and cash flow statement the depreciation table basically tells you the how much an asset is depreciating over the time obviously if you're using an asset it will be depreciating over the time loan schedule basically tells you how much repayment you need to do every month uh, here we have calculated a loan amount interest expense principal amount and remaining balance for the loans we have taken here we have taken loan 1 loan 2 and loan 3 startup summary basically includes total funding and total expenses and moreover it tells you how much investment your business going to require and furthermore the cost is divided into two parts one is variable cost and other is fixed cost income statement includes uh, there are uh, two uh, income statements monthly and yearly uh, in yearly we calculate revenue cost of goods sold gross profit operating expenses ebitda net income before taxes after taxes on the monthly basis and in yearly pnl we calculate revenue cost of goods sold gross profit operating expenses ebitda net income before taxes after taxes on the yearly basis in cash flow statement we have cash flow from financing uh, operating investing activities and moreover it tells you whether the cash is generated from the operating investing or financing activities furthermore it tells you the outflow and inflow of the cash which is very important for the business balance sheet basically includes current uh, total assets and total liability in total assets we have current assets and fixed assets and in total liability uh, we have a non current liability and current liability and capital investment moreover balance sheet tells you the current stability of the company break even analysis tells you the point at which you have uh, earned enough to cover up all of your costs project evaluation basically tells you the npv of the company value of the company where the company stands sensitivity analysis basically it tells you the revenue ebitda fcf on the uh, three scenarios actual decreased and increased dashboard basically is the visual representation of your business which helps you understand your business in a better way that's it i am ending it here thank you for watching